Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be building creations inspired by beautiful artistic hand drawings submitted from my Discord community. I'm going to try my best to realize the essence of these drawings, but ultimately it's going to be up to me to interpret it how I see fit, especially given the limits of scrap mechanic and how it's going to let me build with what these drawings are going to tell me to do. So first up by Jachi, this is called the living box. So apparently if we trap a glow bug, in a cube of wood it's gonna be interesting I don't I don't know kind of want to know what this is gonna look like so let's give it a try it's simple enough so I'm gonna do it pretty much exactly how the drawing is instructing me to I'm just gonna surround this glow bug with wood here uh, let's go ahead and pop it open there we go uh, oh, that's not exactly a cube is it here let me uh, let me give you a little bit more room here just like that now it's a cube okay living box go Yeah, maybe we need to give it some motivation. Glow bugs, in case you weren't aware, if you're new to scrap mechanic, glow bugs eat cardboard. So let's go ahead and can you smell the cardboard? Can you? I can. I can see a trying. This. This isn't working quite like I thought it was going to work. Hello. Can you? <laughs> I was gonna ask if you're still in there, but I heard it. Come on. Come on. Do so. Do something. You know, it says it does work. They tested it. If at first it doesn't work with the original design, let's add some modifications and see if we can make it work. I'm gonna add some free floating wheels to this thing because I know that glow bugs are supposed to be able to make things move. So I'm not ready to give up on this idea yet. All right, let's close you in there. There we go. All right, and here, cardboard. Did something change? Does something change in Scrap Mechanic? This used to be a thing. They used to be able to exert force on whatever they were in. We've done glow bug powered races and stuff before. This is, this, something's wrong here. They've lost their power. And then let's see what happens. What happens, can you push that? Okay, no. No, okay. Glow bugs have lost their power. Not off to a good start. All right, I'm sorry, little guy. It didn't quite work out how the drawing was supposed to, so uh, we're gonna have to get rid of you. Oh, okay, it's a terrible way to go. All right, up next, we have a fancy mechanical thing here by Geek. This is an old school piston powered projectile launcher of doom, of course. So this red circle is supposed to essentially rotate, powered by an engine. And then this brown bar is attached to a block, which is contained within a straight groove, which allows it to essentially pump in and out, creating a piston-like motion. Then we're gonna see if we can gravity feed projectiles in front of that piston and uh, see if we can launch them. So this is a bit more of a complicated build, but let's see if I can pull it off. All right, so we got the wheel. And then attached to the wheel is going to be the piston. So we are limited by the 90 degree build grid. So I'm going to build the piston on the horizontal of the wheel. All right. So this is going to go out in this direction. Actually, you know what? I'm going to build this out of pipe pieces because it's just going to be uh, le less prone to collide with stuff. All right. So I'm going to use a low friction block as the pushing part of the piston. And I kind of like the idea of using glass to build the, um, the groove. So that way it's actually not going to obstruct our view at all. All right, now let's power this wheel with an engine and see how this is looking so far. All right, moves forward, moves back, just like that. So we got the piston motion now. Here, let's move it a little bit faster, see how it handles faster speed. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. All right, so it looks like it goes up to here. Yeah, just like that. So anything, we can have anything fall in right in that area and then get pushed out. How fast can this go before it breaks? You know what, let's actually have this one block ahead like that so that way it's gonna be less likely to get caught on that edge there, on that lip. All right. Oh no, okay, all right, that breaks it. All right, it looks like this might be the maximum speed here. It's stable enough that it's not uh, freaking out or glitching out. Okay, so what are we gonna gravity feed into here then? It's not gonna be the most effective projectile. It's gonna just kind of flop out given the speed that it's pushing at. I'm gonna use these pipe pieces. This is not gonna be ideal because I'm gonna have to carve out that whole back section, but let's hope they stay in the groove. Let's go ahead and close them in like this. All right, I'm gonna attempt to release them. That did not work out very well, did it? <laughs> Three of them actually survived. Well, let's see what happens when we activate it. Here we go. Hey, look at that. It's a great 
projectile, old school style. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's try this one more time. Stay, stay, no, okay, this doesn't work. Let me try blocks instead of these things. All right, is this gonna be any better? It's better-ish. Let's see if I can actually push these in. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay, that's something. I can't really close this back up though, can I? Oh, come on, get in there. Something tells me that trying to use my hammer for this is gonna ruin it. Oh, oh, okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, we win, we've closed it in. All right, now let's use the strength of this piston pusher. There we go, in three, two, one, launch. hand is broken. Okay, I think I've managed to build the drawing to specification and these were the results. I didn't promise good results, but we got results. Okay, up next by Daphne. This is a car that can quickly push all of its mass forward to jump roll. So it's a car with kind of like a rounded top. Okay, and it looks like the body of the car is attached to the chassis with a piston that'll push the entire weight of the top forward, hopefully allowing us to flip over onto our roof and then as we close back up we should roll back onto the uh onto our wheels i hope creating a nice rounded body that's capable of this is going to be the challenge here but let's see what i can do so i'm gonna build the base of the car out of wood because we want that to be pretty light we want most of the weight to be in the um in the body of it all right so here is the base of the car so now everything else my seat and engine and all that stuff essentially have to be in a separate part of the body that is not going to be attached to this it is going to be detached from this and it needs to pivot from the front so we're gonna have to attach it up here where it's actually going to pivot out from all right so here's the pivot point right here here is the base of it so now I will attach the closer we are to the pivot point then the faster the piston will be able to make it pivot so I'll put it right here go ahead and attach the piston there and then it will have to attach right there so then with the push of this button we will extend the pistons at max speed, we want it to be fast. And I don't know, let's say five blocks at first. Let's see how this feels. All right, ready, go. All right, that looks okay. Maybe a little bit more, maybe seven blocks and go. Okay, that's something. That's really max speed though. All right, but we'll have more weight. We're gonna be putting more weight on this thing as we uh, shape the body of it, right? Okay, is that going to be round enough? I guess we will find out. All right, it's an odd looking car, but it drives. Now let's see if we can do the front flip roll. Here we go in three, two, one, hit. Oh, it was so close. We just landed on like the back angle. I think if we didn't flip as much. Here, let me just do a little bit less of a flip. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. All right, we can do better. Oh, no, we're, I'm actually stuck. Oh, there we go. Oh, <gasps> I could just do a full on front flip. I don't even need to roll. Let's try that again. Oh, come on. Uh, get over there. Oh, all right. I know that there's, there we go. There it is. Yeah, see, I have to land more on the front end of my vehicle then um on the if i land on the back end then that's that's worse that's much worse all right i'm starting to get a little bit more of the hang of it i know how to do uh oh look at that oh look at that <laughs> a front flip into a roll i was just trying to do a front flip i i can do like a really nice front flip oh let me see if i could do the front flip into the roll again all right ready front flip and then into a nice roll just like that that is great it's actually harder to do just one roll Oh, there we go. That was perfect. See, if I land right on the nose, uh, yeah, that one's not too bad as well, but this is totally working. This is working just like the drawing said. The only thing is it gets stuck sometimes. Like I'm pressing it now. You can see, oh, and then it'll get unstuck randomly without warning. All right, I gotta see what happens if I do it while I'm getting air off of a jump. Here we go, ready? I'm gonna do it into the jump. Oh, double. Oh, no, we're going into the somersault. There it is. There it is. This thing's great. I love this vehicle works exactly as advertised, no complaints. 
Okay, up next by Nick Nall is some type of physics experiment using a flywheel to spin up before grabbing onto a catapult to then launch an object. So I think I understand how this is supposed to work. So let's give it a try. All right, so I'm gonna use this template for an 11 uh, diameter wheel here. So now the flywheel is going to be responsible for keeping a lot of momentum. So I'm gonna use a heavy material and replicate this wheel with heavy material. And to make it not only heavier, but also able to accommodate some thrusters to power the flywheel, I'm gonna make it two blocks thick, all right? And then I'll just delete all of the wood off of the bottom of it. And there we've got our flywheel part. Then of course, I'm gonna build some thrusters into it as well. There we go. All right, so now I gotta build the base of this catapult system. So this flywheel will attach right there. And then separate from the flywheel is going to be the catapult wheel, which is going to be lightweight. So I can just use this. All right, so off the end of the light wheel is going to be the catapult. So this is going to be what we're launching, essentially. Go ahead and just put a little bit of a platform here to put something. All right, so now the idea is this is going to spin up, gaining momentum, and then I guess I'll put piston on this. And then this piston essentially is going to extend out to then catch a part of this wheel, which is then also going to be sticking out, like right here. And I'll put one on the opposite side down at the bottom like this. Another piston sticking out there. So that they should just go one block as fast as they can. So, ooh, this is gonna be kind of sketchy spinning this so close to that. All right, hold on. Let me, let me go ahead and see how fast this thing actually spins up with these thrusters. Okay. That might be a little bit, it's gonna glitch through. It's totally gonna glitch through. But the good news is it's not catching. It is not actually catching yet. All right, so now we need another button <laughs> that is going to extend the uh, pistons. Let's just see what happens right now. All right, so here we go. Spin that up, ready, and catch. This might work. This might work if something was in there. All right, I'm gonna weld this to the ground so that doesn't happen. And we're gonna launch this electric engine. See how this goes, ready? All right, we spin up. And then... Extend. Where, where, where'd it go? <laughs> I think I launched it through the ground. All right, maybe having this backboard on it wasn't the best idea. Uh, see, the problem is like a catapult usually has a stopping point. This, the flywheel takes it all the way around. So I don't know how to deal with that. I'm just following what the drawing says, okay? Let's see if it works without the backboard. Ready? Three, two, one, catch. Oh! I can't, it disappeared. It literally disappeared. Oh, where's, where's Spud Gun? I saw it disappear off of my screen. Like it was there and then it was gone. It didn't slowly, go less than, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I see it? No, I'm just seeing things. That's a speck on my monitor. That is gone. I think that's gone forever. I gotta do the, I gotta get into the toilet seat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna have a timer. After five seconds, these pistons are gonna extend and it is going to launch us. We are going to be the object that gets launched. Stay, stay, stay. Uh, the toilet doesn't like to stay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of a lip back here. Let me hope that that works. Okay, I really hope this isn't gonna launch me into the ground, but let's find out. Okay, we're ready? Here we go. It's gonna spin up for five seconds and we're gonna get launched. Here we go. Oh! Oh, no, no, turn follow cam off. Oh, we just got launched straight up. That's impressive. And of course we fall through the ground. All right, I want to make the, the wall one block higher now. I don't know why. I just want to see if that launches us more forward. Here we go. Oh! It works. I can't believe how well this works. I really thought it was just going to glitch out, to be honest. That's amazing. Well, well done on that design. The flywheel catapult is a thing. 
Definitely saving that for later. All right, up next by Egeritz. This is a crazy looking setup here where it is a car on top of suspension attached to bearings on top of offset suspension, on top of offset suspension, on top of offset suspension, finally attached to wheels and there's bearings attached between all of the suspensions. So let's see what this does. Okay, so I'm gonna use this base car template that I just have here. So what we need to do is attach these uh, suspensions onto a bearing, onto something like this, and then rinse and repeat a bunch more times, basically. Attach that onto a bearing. Go back over here. You know, I'm just gonna go even further over here. Put that on suspension. There we go. And go back over here. Wait, right, so we got one, two, three. So this is the last suspension here. We got four sets of suspension. All right, and then here is where the wheel gets attached. Perfect. All right, now here is the car. Let's see what happens when we bring it off the lit. Oh no. Oh, this is a bad idea. This isn't going to work. This just... There's no way... The wheels... This is not going to work. Okay, let me attach the engine to the wheels. Like, this has... This has no legitimate steer... Like, the wheels are gonna steer in whatever way... They're gonna... Why... Why'd you do this? <laughs> Alright, well, let's get in the car. Here we go, we're go. <laughs> you can't do anything! There's nothing to be done. Okay, all right, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Go, 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 go. Well, here, all right, how about this? How about this then? I'm gonna attach all these bearings to controllers, okay? Okay, so now the bearing should at least stay straight. Good, let's see how it feels driving this around now. Oh, the wheels are backwards. All of the wheels are backwards, of course. Yeah, I, I can see the wheels are misaligned. You know what? All right, fine. Okay, there we go. Now we can kind of drive a little bit. Okay, so now, if I hook a button up to the controller, I don't know, I'm just gonna have all of them do just random things. They're just gonna go random, okay? All right, now let's see what happens as we try to drive and we press the button. Oh no, oh no, okay, weird things are happening. All right, there we go, there we go, look at this, perfect. New car, new car design just dropped. <laughs> Can't believe we're still up. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> All right, I think we've gotten more out of this thing than I could even have asked for. I really don't know what you expected, but this is what we got, okay? I hope you're happy. So I gotta give an honorable mention to this drawing right here really stood out to me as something not that I can really build, but it was just, I just really enjoyed it. This is um, by Boobalastic. This is the suspension mug and it's a really nice drawing of a mug that says, I wonder what's going to happen, which is kind of a pun on the word suspension. I think it's more ad it would be more adequately named the suspense mug. So I just really like that drawing in particular and I wanted to give it an honorable mention. Uh, so which of these was your favorite though? Le let me know down in the comments below. We had a lot of really interesting physics going on in today's episode, which is pretty typical for a U-Draw I build. So if you haven't seen any of the previous U-Draw I builds, I will leave a link to them right here on the end screen so you can check out some other amazing works of art that have been made a reality in Scrap Mechanic. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrap Man, and I'll see you next time. Bye.